Hello, welcome. I have something to announce. This is a sponsored stream. Thank you to Alienware and NVIDIA for sponsoring this stream. But this laptop that we are gonna be playing with today um, can play cyberpunk. And that's, that's a pretty big ask. That is a pretty big ask of a laptop. I won't lie, I was mildly cynical when they were like, so we want you to do this stream where you play Cyberpunk on a laptop and show how well it runs? And I was like, okay, okay. But I tell you what, legit, guys, it looks good. It looks really, really good. Um, it also runs Among Us really well as well. Like Among Us, mwah, oh. Really using that uh, RTX um, ray tracing, mwah. <laughs> Really, really using that 2070 super card <laughs> on those little jelly beans. Anyway, so what are we going to be doing today? We are going to be looking at this amazing laptop. It's a new Alienware laptop. It's the M15, so it's uh, the screen is 15 inches. Um, and it has in it an Intel Core uh, i7, and it's got the RTX 2070 super um, graphics card, and it is... Mwah. Um, so the main thing we're going to be talking about here is ray tracing. And y'all, Kim had to do some Googling as to ray tracing. And now I can tell you, I'm an ordained ray tracing academic. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's the laptop. There it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? There you go. There's the back. So you can see the back. It's got HDMI ports, SD ports. It's got everything you need. USB ports up the wazoo. And uh, my personal favorite, it's got an SD card port. I honestly, any laptop that has an SD port in it, instant winner. Instant winner for me. Um, because I hate having dongles. Dongles are a nuisance. Um, even better, check this out. Pl plug lights up. How cool is that? The, the plug lights up. I was using it as an ambient night light last night. Um, <laughs> while I was playing cyberpunk in bed. <laughs> That's a legit thing. I was actually I was playing so fucking bad on this. Anyway, um, I know it's it's standard, but look, like I said, any any laptop with an SD card reader, winner to me. So can I talk as well about how how I love the um how much I love the keys? You know, I was I was joking earlier with someone else, and I was saying like, you know, it's got all this tech in it. It's got you know an Intel Core i7. It's got an RTX 2070 Super. And it's got all this cool stuff. But y'all, the keys on the keyboard, they're really nice and squishy. They're really good. So there you go. Just to prove that I am, the, the feed that you're seeing in the background is in fact um, what is going on on the laptop. And uh, I'm not like bamboozling you with like some CGI or something like that. But I mean, look at, look at this puddle. What, what a great puddle. That is an amazing looking puddle, isn't it? This is going to be a spoiler-free video, by the way. Spoiler-free stream. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any of the main story missions. I'm going to be um, doing uh, side quests, having a look around the city. Um, and yeah, 10 out of 10. Wood puddle again. Excellent puddle. So uh, I chose Nomad. Uh, not Nomad. Street Kid. I was a Nomad in the tabletop RPG. I'm a street kid. Um, and I basically tried to create me but future me, um, but I look a bit corporate at the moment, don't I? So like I said, I've literally just, uh, this save is just after, um, that's a bit better, uh, the end of act one. So I'm kind of just like a bit, whoa, I've got loads of stuff to deal with. I've got loads of stuff to sell. I have a trilby. Um, I think that's very important. I've got a trilby. I've also got a baseball cap as well. I like how it changes your hairstyle when you've got hats. So I've basically tried to make me, haven't I? Look, I've got the old shavy side head. We're basically the same, aren't we? I've also, um, obviously I can't show you because, uh, well, I guess I could. Um, let's see, I've gone, I've gone for tats all up and down me. So I've gone, I've got all the tattoos up and down my bod. I don't have the body requirement. I don't have the body requirement. Oh, I'm such a weed. Oh, I'm such a weed, everybody, because I'll tell you what I did. I invested in blooming... <laughs> I got four, I got four body, but I got seven, I got seven intelligence. Look what I did. I put everything in, in brains and nothing in my bod. Nothing in my sweet little bod. 
Man, do I want to live in a future like this? Do I want to live in a future like this? Oh, hello. You have a Makagai May May May. That's perfect. Where is it? I want it. That looks amazing. <gasps> I want this as a poster. Cherry blossoms, check. Giant statue, check. Shiny buildings, check. Red lanterns, check. Noodle stands. I want to live here. Let me live here forever. The main feature of this laptop is uh, the graphics card, which is the RTX 2070 Super, uh, which can do ray tracing. What is ray tracing, Kim Richards, you ask? Well, ray tracing is basically a new uh, bit of technology, a new algorithm that tracks the way light appears in video games. Um, so it will actually, well, new, okay, fine. Uh, New-ish, couple of years old. Look, I'm very old. New to me is like anything that happened in the last five years. I move very slow. Anyway, what ray tracing does is it basically tracks beams of light and shows kind of like the surfaces it reflects on. So it's very, it's very realistic. It's a very realistic, anything to th since 2000 is new. It's a very realistic way of showing light in your game, in your world, because you get things like amazing reflections like this. Oh, look at that reflection. Um, and it just makes it more realistic, doesn't it? My God. Um, but as you can imagine, quite intensive. And um, I can confirm my desktop PC doesn't like it. Right, one thing I want to do while we're here in this perfect location uh, is, da, 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 if we go to graphics, turn this off. So this is what um, Cyberpunk looks like without uh, RTX on. So it looks all right, it looks good, fairly decent. But again, it's that quite, it's quite flat, isn't it? Quite, yeah, like, yes, I am in a video game. This looks nice. So, if we, settings, go back here, turn it on, everything's on ultra. Look at how much more realistic that looks. You can see, like, reflections in the water. You can see kind of, like, the water rippling, like the water's actually moving. And there's just a bit more kind of glow um, to all the signs. And you got, oh, you got that sexy J.J. Abrams lens flare. Mm. Um, but, yeah, and, yeah, bear in mind, this is a laptop that I'm running this on. This is a, a this is a laptop that is running this, and there's no like frame rate drops, no uh, no problems. The other thing I forgot to mention is that the screen on this laptop is a 4K screen. I don't even have a 4K television, you. I I have a basic television, um, and genuinely I could tell because I've been playing it on my normal monitors, and then I I got the laptop and I started playing on here. It looks gorgeous. I can't quite show you on the cameras and all that, but yeah, 4K screen. Mwah. Uh, is Martin in this? Oh, is, is Martin in this? I mean, if Jesse Cox is in this, it makes sense that Martin in the Littlewood is in this too. Man. Um, where, where can I find him? Where can I find Martin in the Littlewood in this game? In the Botanical Gardens, you say? In the South? Maybe I should spend... My whole sponsored stream, <laughs> finding it. For those of you who don't know, Martin, I'm a big troll in the little wood. Trolled the living crap out of Barry and Ben when they did uh, a similar stream. Because Jesse Cox is in the game, they found Jesse Cox. Um, and Martin kind of slid into the chat DMs and was like, oh, I'm in this game as well. And the boys, bless them, decided to go and find and he went I'm on the south side of botany uh, of, of, of the botany botanical gardens and those boys spent an hour trying to find him spoilers guys he's not in the game Martin's not in the game um, if you check out Martin's um, Twitter account he's got he actually put a video together not content with trolling he put a whole goddamn video together um, to, to on his YouTube channel. Do you want to see me in this game? I'll show you me in this game. Uh, let's see. It's in this area. Somewhere. It's in this area. Um, yeah, here. Here you go. Here's me. This is me in Cyberpunk. There you go. Um, I am I am this trash can. 
Um, so if 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 you want to like find me in this game, um, that's that's where I am on the map. Uh, got some hot trash in me. If you if you guys uh, find me uh, in this game, um, take a screenshot and um, yeah, p p send, tweet me, tweet me about it. What's going on here? Locate cyber. Oh, can I steal the military thing? Oh, that. Hello. Why is everyone angry? Oh, this man's dead. He's he's fallen over. Uh, what what are your orders? Um, orders. Code red. Uh, Lieutenant Moa. Critical red. Target presents symptoms of cyberpsychosis. Result of telephone consultation with physician negative. Treatment impossible. Target is located at Taj Gordon's wing of parent brother. Blah blah blah. Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm meant to kill you, but this is a thing that's happening. I'm going to kill you because you're you're kind of like. I I would like to disable you, but I don't have enough RAM to do that. So um, death it is, uh, Lieutenant Moa. I I feel very sorry that you're in a lot of pain. But I am going to slice you up with my katana. I am on fire, though. Just a little bit of fire. Just a little bit. Whoa! Come on. Down you go. Pop. Up it. Up it. Whoop! Hmm. Uh, oh, I'll have your stuff, though. Thanks. You've got a lot of stuff on you. <gasps> there we go. Um, sorry, you're... I mean, you don't look very dead. But I'll tell you what you do look. You look gorgeous with all these reflections on you. <laughs> um, you've killed a lot of people, though. Um, you've killed a lot of people. But that's good, because that means I can take all their stuff and say that you did it. Um, so... Thanks. It just came to me that you look like the cyberpunk character. Vorpal Sword, have you seen what I actually look like in this game? I don't know if you were here at the beginning of the stream. Um, but yeah. Where? Look. I'm, I'm cyberpunk. I got the... Some say. So while uh, Jesse Cox is in the game and obviously Martin and the Littlewood is in the game, um, I am... So I made my joke earlier about being in the game um, as the trash can. But actually, V uh, is me, um, because if you if you listen, V is me. See, it rhymes, um, and that was the that was the clue. Um, that that was the that was the clue. V is me. If you turn the name K, take take the letter K, turn it on its side, V. What is this with my phone? Let me just get my glasses. I gotta put my glasses on. I put my glasses with the glasses. Click on it to send it. Click. There you go. Sent it. Information. Bam. Done. Replied. Preem, sending you a ride. I managed to extract more data about her, but not much. You know how it is with Militech. You get too nosy, and they start sending you death threats. Looks like Mo was chipped with experimental combat implants. Maybe there's a glitch in the code that made her snap. I'll look into it. Anyway, thanks. Money's already in the way. I like money. Is that enough money that I can... <gasps> I can afford. Look at it. <laughs> Look at this car. Oh my god. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm about to spend 14 <laughs> 14,000 euro bucks. I had to kill a woman, and this, this, <laughs> oh look at it, look at me in it, <laughs> look at me in it, <laughs> what an amazing game, 10 out of 10. Best game 2020. Forget all the problems with it. Forget all the problems with it. Oh. <laughs> oh, listen 
into that engine. Oh, how does it reverse? How do I look when I reverse? Oh my God. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, what's the button for sounding a horn? Oh my God. Everybody watch out! Kim's in town! I have made some excellent decisions here today. This would be me in 2077 though. I would be your friendly noodle bar vigilante. <laughs> and you'd order your noodles and I'd, I'd come, I'd come, and you'd know, you'd know that I was there to deliver your noodles because you, because you'd hear this. <laughs> Kim's noodles. <laughs> oh, this is going to look good. This is, honestly, guys, this looks so good. Holy crap. Um, right, let's get back into town and let's look at some, let's look at some lights. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I'm going around the roundabout the wrong way. No, no. <laughs> Breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. Right, let's go talk to Barry. So uh, Barry in this game is actually Harry from the Yogg's cast. Um, so yeah, he kept very quiet about that as well. Um, but this this is actually Barry from the Yogg's cast. So that, that's, that's Barry that's in this game. Uh, one thing I am going to do though is uh, sell my cans. Because uh, we want to carry on the Hat Films legacy. Um, so, I mean, on that note as well, um, while we have me as V, In the Little Wood as a tree, Jesse Cox as a character, Barry as a psychotic neighbour, um, Hat Films actually featured as cans in this. Um, I don't know if you realise that, um, but the cans, that's why they're so attached to them. Um, because Hat Films are actually the cans. They're not the adverts, they're not the mascots, they're the, ca the physical cans. Uh, little do you realise, guys, um, that this is Tom Hazel in the game. Uh, good so this is you. Tom Hazel's cyberpunk character. Um, exact replica, really. Um, they, they did a good modelling job on him. No glasses. Well, the, the glasses are just a prop, Simon. Uh, the, the, Tom Hazel's glasses, they're actually fake fake glass. It's, it's just plastic. It's, there's no prescription in those. That's what we spend the high rollers budget on. Um, is just, uh, yeah. Rendering Tom Hazel's fake glasses. What do you want? Uh. Oh. Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. He's hot. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. He's a handsome one. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. Ooh. What luxury. What a, what a... I love what you've done with the place, Barry. I lost yeah. someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, two? Wait. This is about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. A maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. Son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. Was... <sighs> A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. Um... You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. 
Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. Mm. That's him. very toxic. But she told him about Andrew. A bit of toxic masculinity Honestly, there. Thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Hmm, do we want to know how Andrew died? Yes, we do. We always Please go for optional dialogue died. options. Doesn't matter. Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it now. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Turns out Barry's a... A, a good-looking guy! Wait, what? In loving memory of my best friend, Andrew, you were a tortoise, but you listened like a person. You were with me when my Grammy explained what was right. You are a lost memory of a better world. Rest in peace. I mean... To be fair, everyone who has pets would be sad if their pet passed away. Unless it's Milo, because he's been ripping up the carpet all of last week. So. Okay. I mean, if really? that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. I, va I visited his grave. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. Oh. That's supposed to be funny. The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Until he died. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Kiss my butt. You know this. No. Okay. You want proof? Niche in the columbarium speaks for itself. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about the tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think men does it react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Oh, there Thank we go. You. Okay. This is for your trouble. Thanks. Go buy him a turtle. Also, why is that lady... Look at this lady just creeping through my conversation here. Do you mind? I'm having a conversation with the police. Also, put some clothes on. You'll get cold. Is, is he gonna open up? I already told you. You ain't got a warrant. You ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was... A real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the petrochem board. So it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. That little kid's t-shirt. Green, with this... funny yellow cat. <gasps> Get in. Yay, can I come in too? Can I... Fine, but I hope they buy you a tortoise. Man, I wish Kim would buy me a tortoise. I'd buy you a tortoise, Cavalier. You have to call it Kim, though. Buy us all tortoises. Oh my god, there's 200 of you. How much is 200 tortoises? They're about 40 quid each. Oh my god. All right, Kim's gonna go. Okay, um, 40 times 200. 8,000 pounds worth of tortoises. I'm gonna need to do a lot more brand deals, yo. <laughs> a lot more brand deals on the internet. You get a tortoise, and you get a tortoise, <laughs> and you get a tortoise. Tim Plumstein says, "Can I? Uh, why can I just picture Yogscon 2022 uh, Kim on stage yeeting tortoises into the crowd?" It's gonna happen, isn't it? Now everybody at Yogcon, look underneath your chair. 
and there's a tortoise for you. <laughs> Thank you everybody for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this look at what Cyberpunk 2077 looks like on the new Alienware M15 laptop. Um, thank you very much again to Alienware and NVIDIA for sponsoring this video and for giving this me this amazing bit of kit to play Cyberpunk. I've genuinely, like actually genuinely, really, really enjoyed playing uh, Cyberpunk on this. It's going to be hard to go back to my actual computer. Um, but yes, uh, if you want more details about this laptop, then do check out the link in the video description below here. Um, and I hope that you have had a very good Christmas and that your Christmas was blessed with all the tortoises that I apparently promised um, and definitely haven't under delivered on. See you in the next video and have a wonderful new year. Mwah.